Good morning. Today we are going to read The Brave Little Tailor. Let's get started. One bright sunny morning, a little tailor was working busily in his shop, cutting out a fine suit of clothes, when he heard a woman's voice. Cakes for sale, cakes for sale, come buy my cakes, she called. Here, he called to the woman, I'll buy a cake. He chose a very fancy one with cherries on top. The tailor put it on the table, intending to eat it later when he had finished his work. But very soon, the sweetness attracted some flies who buzzed eagerly above the cake. The tailor was very angry. He swatted the flies and killed seven with one blow. It looks like a nice cake, eh? Well, thought the tailor, that was pretty good. Seven with one blow. The more he thought about it, the more pleased he became, and he decided that he would not want to forget this day. So he made himself a belt, and on it he stitched the words, seven with one blow. Later that day, he went out for a walk, and he wore his belt. Do you see his belt here? Seven with one blow. Let's see what happens. Seven with one blow. The townsfolk were amazed, for no one thought that this referred to only flies. Surely he must be very brave, they said. He is a real hero. The little tailor soon became famous throughout the kingdom. Even the king heard about him. One morning, the tailor was summoned to the palace to appear before the king himself. The king too believed that the little tailor was a hero, and as soon as he arrived, the king stated his proposal. In the forest, there are two fearsome giants that are causing panic among my people, the king said. They have been robbing and murdering throughout the countryside. If you can kill or capture these giants, you shall have half of my kingdom and shall marry my lovely daughter. Let's see if he's going to do it. The little tailor devised a plan. Filling his pockets with stones and carrying a strong rope, he set out for the forest. He found the two giants sleeping under a tree, snoring loudly. The little tailor climbed the tree, and when he was hidden from view, he dropped a few of his stones on the chest of one of the giants. The giant awoke and shouted at his companion to stop hitting him. Then he went back to sleep. The little tailor waited until the giant was fast asleep. This time he dropped even heavier stones on both the giants. They awoke suddenly and began fighting, each angry and blaming the other. Suddenly, each giant knocked the other on the chin at the same moment. They both fell down, unconscious. Quickly, the little tailor bound them together back to back and went to call the king guards. Let's have a look at the pictures. There we go. I wonder if the king will keep his promise and let the tailor get half his kingdom. The king was very impressed with his feet. But before he would give the hand of his daughter in marriage, he had another task for the little tailor. There was a wild boar doing great damage to the forests. You must put a stop to this, the king ordered, before I give you my daughter's hand in marriage. If you are successful, then the wedding plans will be made. Again, the little tailor set out for the forest. Looking carefully between the trees, he went deeper and deeper into the dark woods. Just as he was beginning to give up hope, he caught sight of a pair of gleaming tusks. And the next moment, the boar charged at him. The little tailor ducked behind a tree so quickly that the boar did not have time to stop. He ran straight in the tr into the tree, and a tusk caught fast. The little tailor slipped a heavy chain around the leg of the boar and he eased the tusk from the tree. The boar was so surprised that the tailor was able to lead a meek and quiet boar to the castle. 
The king was pleased indeed. He was so pleased, in fact, that he proclaimed a special day to celebrate the little tailor as the greatest hero the kingdom had ever known. Then he sent for his daughter, the beautiful princess. The princess was disappointed when she saw the man her father had chosen. She had visions of a tall, handsome prince. She was an obedient daughter and began to prepare for her marriage. The day of the wedding dawned, fine and sunny, and it had been proclaimed a holiday, so the people lined the streets to see the fine parade of the kings, queens, princes and princesses who came from the nearby kingdoms. Do you see he's got the boar on a leash? And here's the princess. She's sad. She doesn't actually want to marry him. She thought she was going to get a fancy prince, but she got a tailor instead. Let's see what happens. The wedding was a joyous occasion indeed, but still the beautiful princess was not too happy. When all the people returned home, the little tailor turned to his bride and kissed her gently. And it seemed as though a great miracle had happened. The tailor became a tall, handsome prince. And the princess loved him dearly. The little tailor's belt was hung in a special place for all to see. And the prince and the princess lived happily together for many years. If only it were that simple in real life. There is our picture. Alright, I hope you enjoyed our little story and I will see you soon. Bye!